Hi, how you doing? Well, looking through uh, one of Martin Gardner's uh, recreational math books, uh, he mentioned in a short paragraph a uh, effect by uh, Donald uh, Knuth, Knuth uh, Magic Bingo Cards. The effect is uh, the spectator would pick one of the bingo cards. Say they pick this one. Then the magician would pick a bingo card. Say magician picks A. So the spectator B and the magician A. And they're each given uh, tokens, as in regular bingo. And for the balls, you can either have six balls. The cards are, you use the numbers one through six. Or playing cards. We'll use uh, one through six playing cards. Okay, they're shuffled. And like in regular bingo, one number is called. And if you have it on your card, you mark it. Remember, this is magician, this is spectator. The winner, you don't have to cover all the numbers. The winner is the first one to get a horizontal row, this way. Like 2, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember this way. Up and down is not a winner. Diagonal is not a winner. Just horizontal. That would be the winner. Winner of the bingo game. A typical game would go, say, like this. The, the balls or cards are shuffled. One, only the numbers 1 through 6 are used. 3. Then the 3 is discarded. So if you have a 3 in your card, that's marked. The magician has a 3, so the card is marked on 3. Next card. Ace is a 1. No 1's on this one. Deuce. And that would be a winner for the magician. We have a horizontal row winner. And then you would start over and, and play another round. Probably you would play a match of 10 games to see who wins the majority, majority of games. Here's another go. Remember, the card drawn is only used once. Four. Spectator has a four. Six. Six for the spectator. Oops. Five. Spectator has five, and that's a winner going across for the spectator. Now, according to uh, Martin Gardner's article, the, the uh, bingo cards are intransitive, meaning card A beats card B, card B beats card C, and card C beats card D. Circular. A, card A, beats card B, card B beats card C, card C beats card D, and card D beats card A. Uh, supposedly, whatever card the spectator picks, say the spectator picks D, you always pick the one above it, which would be C. And there is a certain percentage uh, advantage picking C over D. I don't know the percentages. Uh, that's why I'm looking for a uh, little help here. Maybe someone can write a computer simulation and tell me what percentage does A win over B, B wins over C, C wins over D, and D wins over A over, say, I don't know, 100 games or so, 100 games. Uh, in actual performance, you actually you wouldn't put the, the big letters there. I, I put them in for uh, explanation purposes. You would probably have them disguised or the card marked in a certain way so you would know uh, what card to pick. For example, if the, if the spectator picked the C, you would know the pick card B, but you would have like some little mark on it. That way you can just throw the cards down and have the pick spectator choose one, and you would choose one, and it would look like just a random, uh, random, random pick. So I, my problem, like I said, uh, Mr. Gardner didn't give any explanation <laughs> on the uh, percentages. He just said to, to try to, uh, to work them out. And visual, 
you know, as opposed to uh, dice, uh, in transit of dice, you could see that if one die has higher numbers than the next one. If a spectator picks one die with like a lot of threes and fours, uh, you can pick a die with uh, the majority being uh, fives, and you would know you would win percentage-wise more with the dice with the fives over the threes and four die. But on this, uh, it doesn't matter if the number is high, low. Uh, of course, the only winner is a horizontal. But I can't see any visually what the advantage would be of picking, say, C over D. Say the spectator picks D, you, you of course pick C. Uh, the only thing you would see is the there are there's one number that's the same. In this case, it's two numbers, the one and the five, and the one and the five here. Uh, both cards have the same number, but I can't see any particular particular pattern uh, to find out why the cards are uh, intransitive. So, if you could help me on this, uh, I'll be really happy. Thank you very much.